In good health, holiday break is here, and so are more opportunities for your little ones to spread those lovely germs mm. and be exposed to holiday ha household hazards. Yes, we need to teach them how not to do that. Dr. Victoria is here with some timely tips to stop the wrong kind of sharing this holiday season. While it is the season of sharing, germs, they're not a great gift. Now that your kids have been out of school a few days, it's important to be on the lookout for illnesses that might have taken some time to show up. Hopefully your kids didn't bring home too many classroom germs for the holidays, but parents can help curb the spread of them by teaching proper hygiene. I think it just takes a lot of reminders over and over again. It gets kind of boring as parents and you feel like you're a broken record, but you do need to just be very vigilant about reminding them um, about washing their hands. In general, children are more susceptible to illnesses because their immune systems are still developing to fight off germs. It's important to get kids in the habit of washing their hands as soon as they come into the house. Now during the holidays, because decorations are everywhere, it's also important to keep little ones away from safety hazards. Candles, cords on lights, and breakable decorations are all possible sources of injury for a young child. So just being extra vigilant and sort of thinking about the decorations in the context of the child. Um, things that are sparkly tend to be attractive to the kids or shiny and um, they may be drawn to them even more. So just have to be very careful. Now finally, keep safety in mind when gift giving. Buy toys that are age appropriate for the recipient and help younger children open the packaging, especially if it's covered with that crazy impossible to open plastic shell stuff because the edges can become very sharp. Back to you.